Okay, so let's start with the demo. This is the Earthquake shell connected to the dongle via cable. On the top right of the screen, there is a spectrum analyzer synchronized on 434 MHz. On the bottom right, my very personal Earthquake with two CC101 and the target. Let's configure our RFQAC in order to capture that transmission and familiarize with the command. So every interaction with the dongle is proxied by the Q object, meaning that everything starts by Q. So let's type it. So if I press tab, all the loaded modules are displayed. So notice that the connected radios are shown as well as modules here, the radio A and radio B. So just pick the first one, radio A, and let's see its method by pressing tab another time. So among all the, the methods available, we are interested in set modem config. So let's open a parenthesis and basically type what we got from the FCC specification. So we will start with the carrier frequency, which was 434.4 MHz. Then we will put the modulation, which was on off keying. Then we will put the sync word, but since we don't know it, we will just put a blank screen a white screen, meaning that it is disabled. Then we will disable the CRC since we don't know which type of uh, a polynomial is, is used. And then at last, we need to set the bit rate. So it's equal to 1.7 multiplied by two since Manchester encoding is being used. If I press enter, the command is sent to the RFQAC dongle and the dongle is replying the result zero, meaning that there was no error, and the message is that five changes has been applied. So note that since both the sync word and the CRC are disabled, the rate is in promiscuous mode. So this means that it will show to the command line interface every signal on the selected carrier frequency. Um, then we need to set the packet length. And since we don't know it, we just set it to a fixed and reasonably high value. So let's type Q, radio A, then select this time set packet land. So is fixed packet land, that's true. What about the land, the fixed, the packet land? So we will put it to 100, it seems quite high. So now we are quite ready to receive, so we will enable the receive mode and press the key fob. So q.radioa.rx receive mode. Okay, just press something on the key fob. And you see that there is things popping out on the screen. So this means that uh, the dongle is receiving. So we will find all the receive packet in the q.data variable. So if we look at this land, it's increasing every time someone presses the button. Okay, cool. Notice that there may be some noise caused by any other remote, for example, like this one. So look, even this is not our remote, it's on another frequency, you may see it from the spectrum analyzer, it's causing some noise. So we may try to filter it out and, and so many on other unwanted packets by means of the filtering model. So first, notice that a packet coming from our remote starts with A, 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 a long sequence of A. This is the preamble. So we may want to filter out any packet which is not starting with A, 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 A. So let's use the filtering module. So let's select it, Q dot packet filter. It's here. Then add a new rule. The pattern is a regex. So it has to start with so A, then we, we don't want to negate the rule, so we want just to accept packets starting with a long sequence of A at the beginning. So, okay, there is one filtering rule. So let's enable the packet filter module. Enable true. Okay, so if I press the other remote, we see nothing on the command line interface, and that's okay, since this is not starting with uh, a long preamble. And if I press the other remote, okay, we got packets on our comma line interface. So that's cool. So we have seen how to configure a radio, how to capture packets, how to filter them. And now we may also see how to retransmit one of them. So it's just a matter to put the radio in 
transmit mode, and then we use the send method, which accepts data. So we may just pick the data we received before. So q.data, for example, the first one, and let's resend its data. So if you look at the spectrum analyzer, you see that the data is actually sent out by the model. Okay, cool. This was, this was our first demonstration just to just to warm up and just to know how to use the RFQA command line interface.